Hey guys, so I'm actually filming this on a completely different day. This is a Tuesday. I filmed that uh, this most of this video on last Saturday, but um, a friend of mine from college actually called me in the middle of filming. So even though I did run through the swatches pretty easily, um, I didn't actually film an intro or an outro for the uh, for the video. So uh, let's just get right into it. Um, I'm doing the NYX Lip of the Day uh, Art Liners and these are super fantastic. They retail for $7 at Ulta. You'll see in the video that I did have some trouble applying them over cream lipsticks, um, but they are super fun. They're very opaque. There's a couple of differences in um, opacity that you can kind of tell but um we will get into that later so have fun watching the video please do keep in mind that i'm not a professional makeup artist i'm just not i'm a beauty enthusiast um but by no means am i some leonardo da vinci of lip art so please just give me some slack here um, I'm letting you know how this product applies and how this product works over a variety of different kinds of lipsticks. And I don't just keep it to NYX lipsticks. I also brought in Maybelline, Urban Decay, um, and I feel like there might be one more, but honestly, probably not. I did use a lot of NYX in the video. But anyway, have fun watching and I will see you again at the end. All right, so I'm just gonna be taking my Urban Decay Matte Revolution lipstick in the shade Temper. They discontinued this one. I don't think that they have an equivalent in the Vice one, but I have seen it at Nordstrom Rack. So, hi, cheapo tip over here. Go to Nordstrom Rack and check out their beauty section. They have Caudalie, a bunch of different crap. So just go there, get yourself some non full price makeup because that's the way to do it. Alright, so we're going to be taking the shade Enchanted. Um, it's not going to show up here. This is like the world's crappiest lighting. But this is a shade Enchanted and it's this nice like seafoam green color. I think it'll look kind of interesting with uh, the burnt orange of the Urban Decay. So let's, let's get into it. Please keep in mind that I'm not a makeup artist at all. I just like looking weird. Yeah, so they're easy to build up. Um, you can do a pretty thin line with them. And uh, they do take a couple seconds to dry, which is why I'm kind of trying to not move my lips around so much. But... Alright, so we just took a photo and now we are going to move this. So it's not in the way, and we're going to try and drink some stuff with this. Oh wow. This lipstick actually does transfer. Like it's a fairly long lasting in that the color stays on your lips for a little while. Like it is a higher end lipstick and they do kind of usually stay a little bit longer. But you can see that the lipstick itself transferred, but there's not actually, there's no real transfer of the, uh, the little buddy, the product that we're testing, the lip of the day, next lip of the day. And so, all right, so that's like my first impression, um, kind of moment. We're going to take this off and I'm going to kind of breeze through the rest of these swatches. Um... I feel like they're formulated to not mess with the lipstick underneath them. And that's what I like, is that it actually didn't, like the wand on Enchanted didn't pick up any of the Urban Decay lipstick underneath it. It really didn't, and it didn't mess it up. Like it didn't get all weird and like 
smudge together. Um, and I feel like you would kind of get that if you just tried to use regular lipstick. I feel like it would be a little bit more difficult to get the formulas to lay on top of each other or on bottom. All right, so next up we have Maybelline Creamy Mattes in the shade Touch of Spice. Focus. There you go. And I am using for this guy, I'm going to be using the NYX Lip of the Day in this shade, Hex. So next up, we're going to be taking a cream formula lipstick, which is something that I rarely wear. But this is the NYX round case in um, Doll. And these are fun. Like, they are not long-wearing lipsticks. Oh, it's not going to focus. I'm doing this all wrong, you guys. Let's swatch a little bit. Yeah, it's like a very mauve pink. You'll see it better in the photo, whatever. I should just be quiet and put it on my lips. I think we're going to go with this purple. The purple is called Taboo. Which I like that name. I think that name sounds cool. Hey, do you want to focus today? Is this like going to be, it's going to be a problem, buddy? There we go. There you go. So like I showed you before, you get these like cute little uh, designs that they suggest doing. It's real cute, you guys. Ooh, it looks a little bit darker in the tube. I'm going to go ahead and put it on. Oh, uh, these work way better on matte lipsticks. It's going on a little bit patchy. It feels like it's already drying a little bit weird and wonky. And the color is like spreading. You know, okay. So once you have a base layer down, let me go over the top again and see if my theory holds true. But once you have a base layer, it seems like it's and it's kind of dried down a little bit, it seems like it's easier to apply it. So let's go over it again. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm down with that. Does feel kind of, does feel kind of weird on top of a cream formula because this dries. Like, the thing itself is reflective and metallic, but, like, the it has, like, a matte finish. Like, it dries. Um, but what I will say is with the, with the cream lipsticks, go over it once and then go over it again, which, like, I had to do on the matte formulas anyway, just to build up the opacity a little bit. And so, yeah, I think that these are workable with uh, cream finish lipsticks. Alright, so the next one that we are going to be testing is the color Sunlit. And actually, this one looks really fun. Please focus. Yeah, it, it looks gold. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. Well, this does not look like yellow. Which, um... Like, I'll probably end up liking more, but I was a little bit excited just because it was such a weird color. And I have the NYX Vivid Bright Eyeliner, um, which comes in, like, stupidly similar packaging. And I was kind of excited because I, I, I got that in the, like, bright yellow shade. And it's just a very unique shade, and I wanted to try it. 
that. But, um, oh, this is a NYX Full Throttle Lipstick in the shade. It's 03 Kiss the Dust. So, in we go. Yeah, this one is one of my favorites, for sure. This next one, oh, I, I love this color. You guys, I love this color. This is called Foul Mouth. Foul Mouth? It's a weird thing to say. And it is in the NYX Liquid Suede Formula. I love this formula, and I love this shade, and we're going to put it on. Um, so this next one, yeah, I wore it last night out while eating, and it stayed pretty well. It wasn't the most like ornate design, but this is a design that I think that I'm going to wear even if I don't wear this lip combo. And it's probably one of my favorite combinations thus far that I have tried. So let me just tell you what it is. This is the shade Gem. It is like this lovely pearlescent pink. It's just really, really gorgeous. So let me put it on my lips. It's definitely my favorite combination. I just really like it. I think that it looks super pretty. And it is a little bit bronzy. Like it is a coppery-esque her lesson pink shade and I just really really love it. So as you can see in the video I had a lot of fun doing it. I feel like these liners are definitely worth the money. The only thing that I will say after having played around with these for a couple more days is that the shade Taboo which is that um darker purple shade is actually slightly less pigmented than the rest of the shades. Um, I, I had the same kind of uh, an impression of the shade Magnetic, which is uh, the more silver shade, um, but this one, the Magnetic was not quite as bad as Taboo, um, so some of that struggle with the cream formula might have been just because uh, the shade itself was not as pigmented as the other ones. I haven't tried Taboo on a matte lipstick or um, any of the more pigmented ones on cream formulas again. Like I said in the video, I just do not wear cream formulas that often, but I was able to build that opacity up with um, by going over it more than once on the cream formula. So I think that if you prefer cream lipsticks and you still want to get some cool lip art going on, it's definitely possible. It's not going to be as long lasting as the other ones were. Um, I'm going to insert some photos now of how my final look wore throughout the day. I did end up going with the NYX Full Throttle in Kiss the Dust with the shade Sunlit applied over it, the like the golden yellow shade. All right, so this is the before shot. We're about to go out for pizza and drinks and then cupcakes. And this is after eating a whole personal size pizza to myself. It was pretty oily and cheesy, not gonna lie. And I did have a couple of drinks, so you can see that the lipstick itself is worn away in the um, center of the lip. But that the liner is pretty strong, minus uh, a little bit of the wear down on the bottom. And then we went out for cupcakes, and you can see that it has kind of worn down a little bit, but it's still hanging in there. I was pretty impressed. And these are the full swatches, so you can see the differences in opacity. The Taboo and Magnetic, I had to run two passes over, but you can build them up pretty nicely. 
So again, for $7, I don't know why more people aren't just raving about these new products. Um, if you're at all a weirdo beauty person like I am, definitely go and pick this up. I don't think that you're going to go wrong with any shade that you pick. So um, that is my full review. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs> Filming YouTube videos is fun because you can talk to yourself and there's just an excuse, like there's no death hunt.